Heal your body and not your symptoms. Be a survivor, not the victim. Treat your body right. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. I'm living my life that is best, y'all. No stress, good health, I'm blessed. Love, peace, and blessings, everyone. This is Sakina for Natural Max Health, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. If this is not your first time watching me, then welcome back. So, I have been getting a lot of questions about natural healing. A lot of clients are wanting to know how long it would take for their illness or diseases or symptoms to be reversed. And when I tell them, they're quite often discouraged. So this is what inspired me to do a video on natural healing versus traditional medicine. Because I can only imagine how many people are probably kind of confused about natural healing and traditional medicine, or they are either discouraged about the length of time that it takes to actually reverse an illness versus just masking it or putting a band-aid on it. So real quick, the rule of thumb of natural healing, um, I've seen several different, I guess, researches. Um, some experts say that it takes two months for every year that you've had the problem, while other experts say it takes four months for every year that you had the problem. So we're looking at anywhere in between two to four months of for every year that you've had a problem, a disease or any symptom to reverse it. And I want to give you a quick analogy why. So the important thing to remember when it comes to natural healing, you're actually getting to the root cause of the problem and correcting it so that the body can actually, well, as I stated in my first YouTube video, the body corrects itself, but we must first provide the correct environment for the body to heal itself. Meaning we have to give it the right foods. Um, we have to create an environment inside where our bodies can actually absorb the minerals that we take. Meaning um, some points we have to cleanse, we have to detox. Our bodies become so toxic due to the processed food, sugars, um, antibiotics, hormones, and the meats we eat, not to even mention the environmental hazards that we cannot control. All of these things contribute to building toxicities in our bodies, and these toxicities create illnesses and it also makes it hard for us to absorb the foods that, I'm sorry, not absorb the foods, but to absorb those minerals and nutrients from the foods that we eat or those minerals and nutrients from the supplements that we take. So when you're healing your body naturally, you are creating an environment where the body can heal itself and you are getting to the root cause and correcting, assisting the body in correcting that issue. Now, when it comes to traditional medicine, with the exception of antibiotics, you're pretty much just masking a problem. Medicines do not cure. What they do, they either block or kill. There was a famous doctor named Dr. Gerson, I believe is how you pronounce her name. And she would always say that medicines destroy something that naturally occurs in the body. And she was not alone in this. Many research, uh, many books that I have read, many books that I have studied, they all say the same thing. Now, just a quick example of what we mean when we say medicines cure or block. Let's say, for instance, someone sprains their ankle and they take pain reliever or muscle relaxers. So what the pain reliever does, what the muscle relaxer does, it blocks those receptors from the brain so that you don't feel the pain. So the injury is still there, 
it's just you got those receptors that are are blocking the message that goes to your brain to let you know that you're hurting which is crazy because it's the symptoms that let us know that something is wrong but moving right along i am going to um give an example of natural healing versus traditional medicine using a car as an example okay so let's say you have a car and maybe let's say an suv maybe and maybe you don't get to the back all the time so let's say someone throws up in the back of your car and you don't know it so this we'll just say it's a child or maybe it's a cat or something or an animal that throws up and rather than someone letting you know they kind of just cover it up so you don't know it's back there so after a while you begin to smell something so think of the car as your body okay think of the the vomit that's on the floor of the car as a deficiency or something in your body so it begins to smell it begins to stink that lets you, that's that's a symptom and that symptom lets you know that something is wrong so the smell in the car is an analogy of the symptom in your body letting you know that something is wrong so you're running along your everyday business you keep smelling something in your car you think what is that smell you know you roll your window down you continue to smell it you get some air freshener and, and you spray it because you don't know what it is so you spray the air freshener so now you just smell the air freshener you don't smell the stink from the vomit so i ask you is the vomit still there or is the smell of the vomit just covered up from the air spray and that's pretty much how medicine works in your body it kind of masks a problem but the problem is still there so now we've sprayed the car to cover up the smell of the vomit so pretty soon the spray is going to wear off not only is the spray going to wear off but the vomit is going to get deeper into the carpet which is going to make it harder to clean and it's going to smell even worse so if you initially you sprayed the car you let down the window you didn't get to the root cause so not only is the vomit still there but now it's getting worse now compare that analogy to your body something in your body is deficient something is going wrong you don't know what it is you have these symptoms so what you do, you get some, maybe you go to the doctor and they give you some medication, or maybe you get an over-the-counter medication and you treat the symptom and it masks it. So you feel better for a little while, but meanwhile, the symptom is still there and it continues to get worse. It spreads to other organs, it gets deeper in your tissues, deeper in your cells, and sometimes can even get into your bloodstream cause infections once something gets into your bloodstream it can travel anywhere in your body including your brain so this is the importance of getting to the recall root cause and not just masking it so you, you sprayed it um the stink is coming through you know we're back to the car now so you're like what is that smell so you begin to look around you begin to you know to Look, look in the car and move things back so finally you get to the back seat you pull back the mat and now you see the problem you see the vomit so what do you do you clean the vomit up you get ready to you wash the vomit out you clean it up this is what you call getting to the root cause reversing the issue you know reversing you're getting rid of the deficiency in the car Going back to the analogy of the body, finding out where this vomit is coming from, finding out where this stink is coming from, and dealing directly with it so that the body can begin and work so that you're assisting the body in healing, healing itself, reversing the disease, and also preventing it from spreading farther. So now you clean out the car, it smells better, but it's still a little stench because remember before it got deeper into the carpet so now you're going to have to do a little bit more work 
So now we're going to compare that analogy to this onion. I um, was doing some research and the doctor was actually referring to parasites. And he was saying, think of your body as an onion. You have to peel back different layers to get to those parasites. Once you get parasites out of one layer, you have to get to another layer to get to the other parasites. Well, that goes for any sickness in your body. Your body is like an onion. You have to peel through the layers to get to the healing, which is why it oftentimes can take so long or a lot longer than what you will want it to because you are actually, you're getting deep down in those tissues. You're getting deep down in those organs. You're getting deep down in your cells. You're getting in your blood and you're cleansing all that gunk out. You're reversing the illness. You're putting all of that vomit out of your body and allowing allowing it to be able to heal and to heal, you know, in the, Dr. Gerson also once said, excuse me here, that once your body heals, it does not only heal, or once the body begins to heal, it does not only heal what you are trying to heal or what you are aware of, it is going to heal every part of your body. Now, one important thing that I forgot to mention is that when the vomit was in the car and the owner of the car is just driving around, they don't know the vomit's back there yet, and then they begin to smell something. So when you begin to smell the stench, or when the owner of the car begin to smell the stench, begin to smell the vomit, did the vomit just get on the car when she smelled it, or was it already there? The vomit was already there when the person threw up. She just did not, or he did not become aware of it until they smelled it. And that's the same with our bodies. Consciousness of symptoms in our bodies is not when it began. Oftentimes, it has manifested for weeks, months, even years. And when something has been going wrong in your body for weeks, months, and years, you're not going to take a magical pill and clear it up in a day, a week, or even a month. Unless maybe it's an infection and you take antibiotics or something. It is a process. You have to dig through those layers and it takes time, but it's worth it. Because when you heal your body naturally, you're not going to have any side effects. You're not going to stop something that naturally occurs in the body. You're going to heal. You're going to get healthy. You're going to get better. And inadvertently, you're also going to heal other areas in your body that you may not have even known was deficient. And one other thing that I want to leave you all with. Oftentimes when the body becomes sick or it becomes deficient in an effort to compensate for that illness or sickness, it will mask the problem with another symptom. So very often people will think um, that something is dormant, that they no longer have the problem. When in fact, the problem is still there, it's just being masked by another issue. And in addition to that, very often when a person is healing and they begin to get better, then they start to develop new symptoms. They often think, well, I'm getting worse. I was better before. No, you're not getting worse. Most likely a symptom that was masked it's now coming to the surface and you are actually beginning to correct that problem as well. It's as I stated before, going through the layers, getting through the layers, just like this onion, peeling back the different layers and doing healing, healing all those tissues, those cells, those organs, particularly healing at the cellular level, which is the smallest um, heart cell in, in our bodies. So everyone, I hope that this helped. I hope that it shed some light on you about natural healing versus traditional medicine. I hope you have a better understanding of why it takes longer to reverse illness than it does just to take medicine and to this mask it, cover it up. So I hope that this will encourage you to really get to the root of a problem that you may have. I'm not saying not to take medicines. I'm just saying medicines were not meant to take forever. While you're on the medicines, while you have relief, 
dig deeper and find out what's going on inside your body so you can begin to reverse it. If you're dealing with a illness or a sickness and you don't know where to begin to begin to reverse it, to begin to assist your body in healing itself, I am here for you. I would be more than happy to talk with you. I will leave, leave a link in the description box of how you can schedule a consultation with me. Until then, everyone, be great, be healthy, and put those healthy foods in your body. Do those healthy things that is going to promote healing and assist your body in healing itself. Until next time, take care, be well. Ta-ta!